just on your opinions on the area really and the changes that are being made. Oh, not really. Please give it a it's a spruce up a bit, isn't it, really, isn't it? It's sort of giving it the kiss of life, isn't it? You know? What it can say to the people who are already here is you don't belong anymore. They've got different point of views and there's something in it for them as well. So there's a jobs, training. It used to be docks, it used to be working man's area. Now it's very much a tourist area. Well, what's this area going to become? Yeah. Uh, ugly. It has improved a lot. Whereas now it's very transient. Uh, ugly. Though I wouldn't care whatever the government says. Uh, we're utterly surrounded. The thing is, London is growing. It is just dwarfed by these towers. And in every corner, every single area. The whole London is going to change. Uh, uh, ugly. So whenever they build it, your price, the house price will go up. Greedy development. Wow, lucky me. And vision, small rooms at a high price. 665 for a studio. I certainly wouldn't be able to afford that. Or if you want a one bed, there's 720,000. Hey, wow, lucky me. I certainly wouldn't be able to afford that. How much is it? Two bedroom, tiny. 770,000. Can't necessarily afford these prices. Too expensive for the area. Ugly. So you have to look at different angles depending on where you look at it. It's changed in that way. In some ways good, in some ways bad. It's like everything, you know. Well, I think it's a bad move because it's it's not even done any good. Some some are preempting it by moving anyway. Yeah, yeah. I it. It's worth a lot of money now. Well, these houses are a fortune now. These houses are like fines council. Price of them, you have to go and buy them. You know, like one of them. One there, that's my one. It's worth about one and a half million pounds. But there are a lot of people who invested yes, uh, their lives, their work, and their families in, in an area and just, just to feel themselves pushed out. But if you say, oh, sorry, I've got uh, low class people and they need to leave and I can't find a job for them and I can't build it because of them, then the city will not gonna, never, never gonna grow. Yes, we do get some regulars, but um, that's going more by and by to it's been overtaken, you know, unfortunately, and not in a derogatory way by tourism, you know, so you lose that contact with people, which is quite sad. Um, I'm not from around here. Is there actually going to be anyone living here? One way or another, so someone else is going to live here. Well, it's a different type of people that live around here. Um, you know, we've got people that are, you know, are more affluent now by the river, whereas before it was just more people like me and you, you know. And what it can say to the people who are already here is you don't have a lot of them. Okay, no, if they're renting, that would be bad news, isn't it, because the price is going to go up. Affordability will only happen on the outlines of London. If it's in London, you have to grow. If it's not growing, people will not come. I take it from shit to home to a better house and the neighbour will improve as well. Here it feels out of control. It does feel out of control.